Thanks to the folks of Hills Supply, an Ohio dairy supplier, a group of Ohio dairy farmers headed north on Monday to see a unique display of milking technology at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show in Ontario. Two companies, De Laval and Laley, have their robotic milking systems set up side-by-side side for a heads-up comparison of the technology that's radically changing modern milking. De Laval drew quite a crowd as they debuted their brand-new VMS V300 robot. Gavin Strang is the De Laval market development manager for North America. So we're standing in the Bratspan Innovation Barn at the Canadian Outdoor Farm Show and this is uh, hosted in Woodstock, Ontario every year um, and it, it's, a, it's a facility where Delaval and Laley are milking about 35 cows each with our, our respective uh, robotic technologies. Yeah, so we, we've got a lot of stuff coming out of our innovation pipeline we call it. So in June this year we launched globally this robot, the new Delaval VMS V300. So this is the first time in fact that North America will see the V300 in operation actually milking cows. Top of everybody's mind would be what we call Delaval Insight. So Delaval Insight is, is, is the, the robotics of the vision system and, and it's more than just a camera and an arm, it's, it's about a system and how the engineers have been able to take incredibly complex technologies and make them smooth and fast. So when you see this V300 in operation, that's what you will see smooth and fast. The attachment is unbelievable and through this technology we've been able to reduce the attachment rate by 50 percent. We get a 99.8 percent attachment. I mean this is phenomenal stuff using technology that's available but with the proprietary algorithms of Delaval kind of putting that together and, and blending that in a, a wonderful robotic insight technology. Dairy farmer Lou Schwederman from Mercer County went along for the trip looking for answers to how robots could affect his family's operation. I'm trying to find out the new technology in the robots because I've seen the older models at the De La Valle and I'm here to see what, what the new technology is doing and how good it is and how it's changed in the last few years. Possibly installing on your farm down the road? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's in the plan, but uh, a lot of factors in it, the economics and all that has to be figured out yet, so we'll see what comes up. Basically, the uh, connection of the uh, teacups to the udder, it's a lot better than the old systems, and it's, they say you get a little bit more milk out of the, and you don't have to have, you can have marginal cow's udders, and it, it works better. That's what I've noticed so far. The labor's a lot of it, but the... Uh, production of the cow, your increase in production helps you over your cost of, of producing that milk and, and that helps to keep you in the game as far as uh, staying in business. One individual I talked to, he, he put him in, didn't really realize what was going on as far as production. -wise. He said his production went up 80 percent. So that's a, really a far out number as far as I'm concerned. I've heard anywhere 15 to 20 percent, but uh, if that's the case, you know, depending on where you start your level, but just the overall health of the cow, and, it, and the cows are so much at ease, there's no tension, no, you know, people, cows don't like people, and, and they're more at ease, and they, they become a better cow. They're a totally different cow than when you milk them in a parlor. Now that robot on display is headed to Cranbrook Farms after the show, operated by Joe and Barb Terpstra. They talked to farmers like Lou about their robotic experience. Our, our parlor was tired, so it was time to kind of delve into it. We have four children, two of which are invite, like interested in coming home on the farm. And, um, you know, this generation is really driven by um, robotics and by uh, technology. So we figured that it was probably the, the best way to entice our children to, to stay home as well. Has it uh, helped to do that? Uh, yes, we. Uh, our oldest daughter is uh, now home working on farm full time, and she's 22. And our youngest son, as well, is uh, very interested in the farm and working working with us. So, De Laval uh, was behind us four years ago, and uh, we put in six units, and and now De Laval is trusting us to put in this V300. So um, we're very humbled by that experience. So uh, we want to thank De Laval very much for that. We have six uh, classic VMSs right now. We milk 370 cows, so we'll be adding this uh, seventh robot next week. For us, the robots worked really cool. Uh, we were able to uh, concentrate more on the cows and worry less about scheduling. 
and the robots do their thing and keep on working. Yeah, in the barn, my role has changed. I concentrate a lot on cow, cow health right now. Before, it was a lot of scheduling and uh, looking after people and feeding cows. So right now, I basically all I do is cows all day long. Stay up to date on the latest news in agriculture, including following along with the trip to Canada's Outdoor Farm Show online at ohioagdet.com. I'm Joel Penorwood.